Hey guys, it's Brittany back from the Bosch blog and I am super excited to be back with you guys to show you my 2024 bullet journal setup. Um, I got an Archer and Olive journal this year. It's a B5. A um, little bit late because I ordered the wrong one originally and I had to wait until this came in after the new year. Um, so a little bit behind but we are all caught up and I am ready to show you guys and to use these um so I'm loving this like iridescent leopard print and teal it's like my favorite color so win-win over here don't mind my dog he's uh anxious um so let's dive in so I didn't do the this book belongs to yet so I still have to fill that out. But it's also like metallic-y in here too. And I thought that was so cool. Um, but here is my first page. I love color. So anytime I get to use my Tombow markers in like a colorful rainbow spread, I'm going to do it. Um, it's kind of, I mean, it looks pretty vibrant on the screen. I don't know if it translates well in the video itself. But... I really like the like offset of how this looks. Um, Sydney really enjoyed it too. She's seven and she was like, oh my God, mom, that is so cool. Um, so moving on, I have my future log. I saw this on Pinterest and I kind of melded a couple different ideas together but I really like how this turned out. It's super colorful. I try to coordinate the color with the month, like some weird silly girl that I am, but I love how it turned out. It came out really nice. Um, next up, I have my word of the year. Um, I actually have a word of the year printable. If you guys are interested in that, I'll link it below in the comments or in the, not the comments, the description. Um, so you guys can check it out. But this year, my word of the year is discipline. Um, this is something I struggle with. I was never taught discipline. I mean, I was in the sense of like authority and getting in trouble if you don't do certain things, but like having self-discipline, like, I don't know, like taking care of yourself and making sure you, you know, eat right, eat healthy and fuel your body and take care of your body and exercise your mind and all those things. Um, consistency really. So I thought this would be a good one for this year for me to work on. It hasn't been going well so far. It is January 18th and it's not going that great, but <laughs> we're only two and a half, three weeks in. So hopefully we'll get better as we go. I also made a goals page this year. Um, we talked about this at church. Um, and I've talked about this with one of my friends too, and just setting goals, keeping them like smart goals where they're like measurable and like realistic and all those things. So I'm excited to actually put like work on this page. Um, next up, my traditional books read in 2024. Um, I do have a reading goal every year. This year, I am hoping to read a total, quote unquote, read a total of 24 books um, for 2024, 12 of which, so exactly half of them, must be physically read where I'm using my eyes to do the reading and not my ears. Um, so I made a part for reading them and a column for listening to them. I do like to listen to some audio bo audiobooks usually. It's like a memoir or something um, just while I work. So I'm like learning something usually. Um, and then I also have a movies watched spread over here too. I do this every year. We keep track, well, I keep track of all the new movies that we watch. I mean, we re-watch movies all the time. Like right now we're three into the Harry Potter series. Like our daughter's pretty 
like getting into Harry Potter. So we're rewatching, we're reading the books to her at night and then we're watching the movies again and she's getting like super excited. So like those ones I will not record on this page, but I will record like if we go to the movie theater and see, I mean, this is way far out in the future, like Wicked in November, um, I'll record that on here. Um, or if we like watch something at home that we didn't watch in the theater or something, I'll do that as well. Um, the next two spreads are cleaning spreads. Um, I thought I'd do an annual cleaning schedule just to keep like we're trying to take better care of our house. So we got like a new we got a new water heater last year. So I want to make sure that we're emptying that and whatever on time and like switching out the filter on the furnace, which unfortunately we have to get a new one in the next week or so. It should be here. Yay. I also do zone cleaning um, where I like divvy up my house into five it's like four slash five different zones and each week we focus on a different zone and then the whole house gets cleaned every month um if this is something like you want to know more about let me know in the comments and i do not mind doing a whole video on my zone cleaning because it's pretty cool it's a life changer for us um this year, uh, as part of my discipline, I do want to spend less money and save more money for, like, bigger things. Like, I don't want to be, like, rushing around, skimping pennies here and there. And, like, I just want to be smarter about our money. So, I made a savings tracker over here. And I also did a growth tracker for social media because I'm trying to be more consistent posting and growing my social media presence with my bullet journal and printables. So we'll keep track of that. And then my last two pages of my bullet journal setup are my washi tape wardrobe, which I ran out of room for wardrobe, but that's all right. So I made um, little hangers and each month I plan to use a different washi tape, which I already ordered um, for every month. And then I'll just hang it on here like a piece of fabric and it'll look cool. And then I do a funny thing Sid said page as well. I need to be more consistent about posting like writing stuff on here because she says some of the funniest things and I love it. I love looking back and seeing what she said. Um, but that's it. Then we go right into January and I'll be posting a video with those spreads um, this week as well. But um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this um, video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see what's going on the rest of the year. And have a great, have a great 2024, everybody. Bye.